The more time I've spent on this planet and my endless fascination with the human spirit, people living their dream, their mission, I often think of my Aunt Mary, who is a member of the Sister Servants of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. She is one among many women who have spent their lives in relationship with God, accepted the call, and became nuns. Who tells their story, or even thinks about them? This is a reflection of two nuns, Sister John Mary Baker and Sister Stephanie Mueller, two women, two friends, in total service, having taken vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, committing themselves to live a life in contribution to humanity. Two sisters looking back on the present, living in the now, and realistically aware of their future. We all are given an opportunity to commit and serve in this life. How would it look for you? Ever wonder what it's like? How does it appear now? Here's their story. Sister Servant, A Call to Commitment. Well, it seem, I seem to view commitment as a promise that one cannot break if you're committed. I was, I was just thinking commitment is a dedication. It's a promise to do something come hell or high water. And we have proved it many times. <laughs> well, I was the third child in a family of six. And my mother also raised a boy cousin, so I was raised with five boys, which I think probably helped me since mo in most of my teaching career, I was teaching boys. At, um, I was about uh, 18 months old uh, when my mother died, so I have no memory of her, whatever. Uh, not knowing anybody and having no relatives over there, he didn't know what to do with me. So I know that from, from him I learned that I was taken to neighbors, <laughs> anybody that could put up with me for a few weeks until he found somebody. Um, my godparents kept me for a month or two, and I went to the Cleveland Orphanage for a while. Some people that there was a day of entrance, a date, and uh, some people uh, lasted two months, some lasted five months, a few left just before we were going to take the next step. As a young kid, I never wanted to be a nun. <laughs> I was going to be a teacher and have a red convertible. That was the dream a red convertible and me teaching and going down the street. I got some boys and said, see if you can find some saws around your house. Get some saws from your grandpa or your, your dad. And I made them cut the slats so we wouldn't have to lift a slat of 10 desks and throw it into the truck. We'd be sending at least a desk at a time out the window into the truck below. That's the way we cleared third floor. I said, floor. have you any idea <laughs> of what this is going to draw? I owe great thanks to Sister John Mary for uh, showing me the direction, paying attention when my attention strayed, and for giving me a foundation uh, for a stage of life that uh, I would otherwise have been unprepared for. I thank her and I thank uh, all the women who dedicated their lives to other people's children and who deserve our thanks for as long as they are on this earth. Thank you. I was going to be a teacher and have a red convertible. That was the dream, a red convertible and me teaching and going down the street. <laughs>